All right, so let's jump into today. We're gonna get into Ada, the champion of the next layer of Web 3.0. Doubled its value fun. in I the past it. three weeks. Yeah, so. all right, so welcome back to Tech Bath. My name is Paul Barron. <laughs> and I'm Lisa Francoeur. Listen, this is gonna be fun because we're gonna get a chance to talk about where Cardano is going. And I, this is one of those projects that gets a lot of traction, both in the comments here mm -hmm. on our channel, and I would say both good and bad. I mean, it would depend on what side you're on. You know, well, I look at it. Kind of to be bad. called the Ethereum killer, you gotta, you, you have to expect hate. Yeah. You gotta expect the trollic. Yeah. Hate. It's like Batman versus Superman is what I kind of exactly feel right. Like this is it's the battle of the superheroes. Yeah. Cardano's price witnessing exhaustion as it hovers over the uh, supply zones, upper limit of 216. We're seeing the charts kind of show this right now, mm -hmm. Lisa, on where C Cardano seems to be going. What Some slight thoughts? retracement. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I think that the exciting thing about Cardano is that it there's just a lot of activity. There's a lot of momentum behind Alonzo. Um, there is a date, September 12th, that's been yep. set for the release in which smart contracts will be enabled, and that functionality is again putting it as a you know closer to a direct competitor of ETH. And when I say direct competitor, I mean you know a uh, 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 you know, very strong competitor at that given how minuscule the transaction fees are. Yeah. Three important uh, Cardano points, ledger changes. Uh, so this was basically transaction validated, mm -hmm. uh, has two phases, uh, which is Plutus, what you were mentioning, mm -hmm. uh, contract execution, uh, and then also smart contracts, which should never fail. Uh, Without gas. Yep. So mm -hmm. that's good. Then transact transactions that call smart contracts, which require collateral. Right. That's going to be a, so. This will need to cover at least the cost of con contract execution, uh, and then the number of three item was minimum AD of value in UX or UTXO entries, in being changed from a constant uh, from a constant one ADA to a protocol parameter. This is all new stuff that's going to come out in the Alonzo hard fork. Right. So, Functionality-wise, this has got a lot of benefits of where and what it can do in terms of the future of where Cardano is going. A lot of potential. Yeah, but the key here, it goes back to kind of the, the difference between Cardano and Ethereum is this. is you look at Ethereum holding the line and continue to see support, continue to see some movement on the positive side, and as you'll see in a chart here in a second, Cardano's go. actually falling a little bit under where it might be going. I want to jump to the chart real quick. And you can kind of see, so we did a sentiment uh, bubble right here, 6403, 51.22. Now I want to note something right here. This should have been an indicator that we didn't really pick up as well as we should have. Mm -hmm. A separation with really high sentiment and moderate, because this is a moderate amplification score. Right. That of course does give you Some a softening. typical softening, which is kind of what you see right here, mm -hmm. okay? And you see another sentiment bubble that we recorded. Also, same kind of thing, higher sentiment, but amplification didn't follow along. Sure. So that's where we're seeing what we're seeing right now. Could Cardano it's testing come that back level of support. into here, mm -hmm. or could it take its way back down to into the 180s? That's gonna be the real trick right here on this one. And because this, um, and this is the other thing and I want you guys to be very aware of, Whenever you see narrow amplification like what we're seeing right here, that's limited data. Mm. So that is another thing that I'm worried about with Cardano. Remember, all, all this stuff moves on the network effect and how people are looking. I think people are taking profits off of Cardano right now. And yep. I think that's causing a little bit of the downward trend. Is this going to hold and push back down into another buying opportunity for Cardano? Very possible. This could put you back into a 170, maybe even down to a 150. And having the hard fork coming up here in September, there's another liquidity opportunity. Yes. Yeah. And how would so. things shake out in relation to that hard fork? Will they be able to honor that date? It's already been pushed back. There's yeah. some, you know, frustration um, in the market about not or missing um, these target dates. So should be interesting to see if there's a, a, a softening or uh the, the community rallies. Yeah. I think the key here is going to be whether or not Cardano can break out and get past. And I'm not a huge believer that it's going to see uh, exponential gains 
uh, in the essence of maybe going to the $10 mark, even though I think we've covered it, of where that potential project could go in the future. The fact that we saw a slowdown happening, uh, meaning we missed the Alonzo date original, uh, and we've seen maybe some other projects starting to actually prove their case. That's right. And the longer Cardano doesn't roll things out, the longer or faster that Ethereum starts to continue to roll because the essentially hard fork is done. Now the next big phase for Ethereum is going to be 2.0. And I think one of the frustrations with Cardano was also like the synchronization. Um, yeah. The synchronization issues on the network, which if the network fails to fix, um, you could probably see a price the price slide down to about a dollar eighty nine cents or so. Yeah. So. Um, this could also go either way. It, and that's the thing about it. Like, that's what I think is so exciting about this project is it's not definitive, yeah. the direction. Like, directionally, where it's going to go. I, again, will default to September 12th, the alleged date that the hard fork will be completed. Yeah. So, Alonzo, we're, we're relying on you to, to tell us uh, what direction things are going to be moving in. Yeah. Last piece here, a uh, little jump over to Trade the Chain. Uh, you can kind of see the hourly sentiment and the daily sentiment. I want to just jump to the seven day right here because you did, you know, Trade the Chain does give us a little bit of an indicator here in terms of tweet volume and what's happening in a particular project. High, high sentiment. This actually tracks well on Trade the Chain. You can kind of see sentiment waning right here, which is what we've talked about. And again, this is back when price was right at a buck 98, sentiment was holding in at 85. Theirs are a little bit stronger, mainly because it's, uh, you know, it's Twitter. But now you see uh, down here, right about now, holding at 209 and sentiment dropping down to 55, mm. which gets back into our whole chart scenario of what we're seeing in terms of amplification and sure. sentiment separating. That's a that's not a good sign for a project. Yeah, when, when you see happens. that bifurcation when yep. it comes to sentiment um, and amplification, that typically means that the it's, it's over it's over uh, overhyped yeah mm -hmm. overhyped okay so that's the concern i have right now with cardano is that it may have had a little bit of a jump start maybe a little bit of a head or you know false start here before we see uh, what's happening in september i think we could see if it goes up three dollars and 77 cents or so mm -hmm. and if it goes down uh about a dollar 87 dollar 88 so yeah we shall That's see. Kind of, Only time I, will tell. Yeah, I'm still pushing out in in the three to five range for Cardano. This is a year in project. I think it's one of those altcoins that definitely should be in your portfolio. Again, not an investment advice. And again, we do these market movers from time to time. The idea is we put together charts and all these squiggly lines that you guys see. And the whole point is, is that it gives you a direction in which you can go. But again, it's not investment advice for you. Hopefully it's investment opinion. And it's getting you thinking and going, man, I need to go really understand a little bit more about what they are doing. What is this Alonzo thing? What mm -hmm. does it mean? This is your homework, people. This is the good stuff around Cardano that you should be doing. Got to do your own due diligence, yeah. Paul. I mean, Overall, we do. it's good. Yeah. Overall. We do to inform you to ignite <laughs> that uh, desire to want to learn yeah. how to earn. I keep saying that because that's so critical to, to these crypto markets. Yeah. This is where you get into the... You know, 100x, 10, 10x, 100x, 1000x, and beyond. Well, and remember, Cardano was one of those projects. I actually, you know, although I love my ETH, I do think that Cardano has a lot of, uh, a lot of potential. Yeah. Just to put Cardano in its, um, you know, the idea of behind where it's going is it has some very interesting year-to-date movement. I just wanted to see... Kind of obviously we saw the May, but look at this run up right here. This yeah. is where we are right here. So interesting. And then of course, pre run ups right here. You had this new false or not at that time. It was one of the new all time highs. This is all the way back in April before we saw this right here. Wow. So could this little thing here be similar to what we're experiencing right now over well, here? Well, history repeat itself, Paul. Yeah. I, I know this gets into technical analysis. You guys know I'm not good at that one in terms of following charts. I follow the data. 
uh, to really understand kind of where the future is going. So anyway, if you're listening in over on the podcast right now, make sure and give us some kudos over there. We love the five stars, and thanks for following us in, of course, on Spotify. And if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to share, right? The more folks that have access to this knowledge, to this wisdom, the more folks that can position themselves better. Because this is about making sure you have what you need to know to not only feel like a pro, I feel like I should start a rhyme. Um, but the moral of the story is, if you're watching us on YouTube, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Cardano? What are your thoughts on any coins that you'd like us to analyze? Uh, we'd love to hear from you. So keep watching. Yep. We got All a right. lot to share. Reach out to me on Twitter, at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath.